Oh my goodness, I wonder how long it's been since I've actually stood up for a video instead of sitting down on my lazy butt. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm here to bring y'all my Smutathon TBR. So this video is being posted the day that Smutathon starts. I will be filming a reading vlog for y'all. Stay tuned for that for later in the month or next month because I have to film three reading vlogs this month because I have three different readathons going on. <laughs> okay, so if you did not know what the Smutathon is, it's basically a week-long read-along readathon where you read romance books, the smutty books. It is taking place from June 3rd to June 9th, and it is hosted by Riley Marie and Lainey. I will leave their channels linked down below. These are great channels, great romance channels. I really love their recommendations. A bunch of these are actually some of their recommendations, so I can't wait to share them with y'all. Okay, so for this round of Smutathon, it is round three. This is my first time participating, so I'm super, super, super excited. For this round, they decided to do a bingo board. I'm going to give myself the challenge of completing the entire bingo board. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do it. I know at least I'm gonna complete bingo, like I'm gonna have at least a bingo by the end of this. I'm going to try to complete the whole entire bingo board and I think I can do it. I'm going to double up on some challenges though. I think it still counts. <laughs> the first book on my Smutathon at TBR, we have of course The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. If you didn't know, Christina Lauren is one of my favorite author duos of all time, favorite authors of all time. I love their romance books so much. This is going to be completing three challenges. We have Fake Dating, enemies to lovers, and a vacation romance. So this has all of those in there, which is super duper duper exciting. If you didn't know about this book, it's about our main character girl named Olive. Her sister is getting married and Olive actually really despises and hates the best man at the wedding. But somehow the whole wedding party gets food poisoning. The only people that are not affected by it are Olive and the best man. They decide to go on the honeymoon because the married couple cannot so they go on the honeymoon and have to pretend to be a couple even though they hate each other needless to say by that summary i am super excited to read this and i cannot wait to start it's gonna be probably my first read for this month on the next book on this list is broken prince by aaron watt this is the second book to the royals series i read paper princess in May for the Scally Wagathon and my wrap up will be coming up shortly so stay tuned for that to see what I thought about it. This is going to be completing the challenges for Forbidden Romance and Bad Boy slash Bad Girl. It's Bad Boy in this one. So in the first book we have our main character Ella Harper who is basically swept off the streets by this really rich man. She is his new ward basically like he has custody over her because both of her parents have died but she doesn't know who he is and um, she doesn't know his five sons and when she moves in to live with them all five of the sons hate her guts so it's kind of a forbidden romance between one of the brothers and you're gonna figure out who it is when you read the book I won't be getting into detail of what I thought about the first book you'll go check out my um, May wrap up which will be posted shortly but I found it a little bit problematic but then I found it really addicting so like I needed the next book so I immediately bought the next book so I cannot wait to read this one and I flew through the first one so I know I'm gonna fly through this one too because the first one ended on a big cliffhanger probably the biggest cliffhanger I've ever read from ever so I need to get into this as soon as possible next on this list is an ebook called a girl like her by Talia Hibbert. This is going to complete the challenge for a new to you author and an author of color. I don't know a lot about the ebooks that I'm going to talk about today, so I'm going to read the summaries for the ebooks for y'all so y'all know the summary because I don't know the summary off the top of my head. So I'd rather just read it to y'all so y'all will know all the information out there. She's the town's pariah. He doesn't give a damn. In Ruth Kaba's world, comic books are king. Silence is golden and human contact is a pesky distraction. She doesn't like people, which works out just fine because the people in this small town don't like her. The exception to this rule, Evan Miller, her way too charming next door neighbor. Ex-military man Evan is all tattooed muscle on the outside and a big cuddly teddy bear beneath. He's used to coaxing prickly people out of their shells, but he's never met a woman quite like Ruth. 
blunt, sarcastic, and secretly sad, she's his exact opposite. She's also his deepest desire. Soon, Evan's steady patience and smoldering smiles are melting Ruth's reserve. But when small-town gossip from her past begins to poison her future, she's forced to make a choice. Should she trust Evan completely or is her heart safest alone? I believe Riley Marie is reading the second book in the series for this um, round of Smutathon. I haven't read the first book yet, this one, um, and this one sounded really good too, so I'd rather just start off with the first book and then I'll get into the second one. This one seems really cute and I can't wait to read it. Next, we have Vicious by Ella J. Shen. This is another ebook that I'm going to read. This is going to be completing at least two challenges. We have the out of my comfort zone. I'm not really one for like someone dating someone's ex, like their best friend's ex. I don't really like that or it's not really my cup of tea, but I'll give it a shot because it's out of my comfort zone and it fills this challenge. It also completes the read a host's favorite book. Riley Marie loves this book, so that completes that challenge. And I might be able to read this for the read a book in a day. It is 339 pages. And when um, a book is on my phone instead of physically, I tend to read it faster just because I have access to my phone more frequently during the day than a book. But I might be able to complete that for read a book in a day, but there's a bunch more on this list that I will talk about that I could also read a day. So stay tuned for that. Amelia. They say love and hate are the same feelings experienced under different circumstances, and it's true. The man who comes to me in my dreams also haunts me in my nightmares. He's a brilliant lawyer, a skilled criminal, a beautiful liar, a bully and a savior, a monster and a lover. Ten years ago, he made me run away from the small town where we lived. Now he came for me in New York, and he isn't leaving until he takes me with him. Vicious. She is a starving artist, pretty and evasive like cherry blossom. Ten years ago, she barged into my life unannounced and turned everything upside down. She paid the price. Emilia LeBlanc is completely off limits. My best friend's ex-girlfriend, the woman who knows my darkest secret, and the daughter of the cheap help we hire to take care of our estate. That should deter me from chasing her, but it doesn't. So she hates me. Big fucking deal. She better get used to me. It sounds interesting and Riley really loves it, so I'm excited for that. I'm not all that too excited about someone dating their best friend's ex. I'm not for that. So that's why this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I will give it a shot nonetheless. Next we have Hannah's Hero by Ruby Dixon. I of course had to include a Ruby Dixon book on this list because I have just completed the Ice Planet Barbarian series, um, the books that are out right now. I don't know if she's going to add more to the series, but this is a part of the spinoff series, Ice Home, set on the same world during the same time, but with a new group of people. I am almost done with that one too. I have Hannah's Hero and one more book to complete for that series, and I'll be up to date because there were so many freaking books in this series, these two series. This will complete the challenge for different worlds because it is a romance book between a human and an alien on an alien planet and it might be able to complete a book in a day because it is 309 pages. I feel like I just fly through Ice Planet Barbarian books or Ice Home books so I feel like I could maybe read that one in a day. So if you did not know what the Ice Planet Barbarians is about, basically we have these human women who are abducted by evil aliens. Their spaceship gets crash landed onto this giant ice planet. The evil aliens die. The only survivors are the human women. They end up getting rescued by the only inhabitants of the whole entire planet called the Sukuis, who are blue people that have tails and horns. And they have this thing in their chest called a Kui, which is a symbiote, which will indicate to them when their lifelong mate and partner, their soulmate, is near. Each girl ends up getting like mated to a Sukui man. And they're just like guilty pleasure reads for me. Like I'm not guilty about reading them, but like I just love reading them. I know it's probably not the best stuff I've ever written, but it brings me joy, so I love reading them, and I'm so excited that I'm almost done with the series. Next, we have Frigid by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is going to be another ebook that I'm going to read. This is going to be completing the challenges for friends to lovers, which I love. I love that trope. And a one word title. And I might be able to complete this book in a day because it is 252 pages. For 21-year-old Sydney, being in love with Kyler isn't anything new. They'd been best friends ever since he pushed her down on the playground and she made him eat a mud pie. Somewhere over the years, she fell for him and fell hard. The big problem with that? 
Kyler puts the man in a man whore. He's never stayed with a girl longer than a few nights, and with it being their last year in college, Sid doesn't want to risk their friendship by declaring her love. Kyler has always put Sid on a pedestal that was way too high for him to reach. To him, she's perfect and she's everything. But the feelings he has for her, he's always hidden away or focused on another female. After all, Kyler will always be the poor boy from the wrong side of the tracks, and Sid will always be the girl he can never have. But when they're stranded together at a posh ski resort due to a massive nor'easter, there's nothing stopping their red-hot feelings for each other from coming to the surface. Can their friendship survive the attraction? Better yet, can they survive at all? Because as the snow falls, someone is stalking them, and the ski trip may be a life changer in more ways than one. That sounds super cute. I love friends to lovers. That's like one of my favorite, favorite romance tropes ever. So I cannot wait to get into this one. I'm really excited for this one. Next, we have Forever My Girl by Heidi McLaughlin. This is going to be my audiobook for the week. And this is going to be completing the second chance romance. I was never supposed to be a rock star. I had my life planned out for me. Play football in college, go to the NFL, marry my high school sweetheart, and live happily ever after. I broke both our hearts that day when I told her I was leaving. I was young. I made the right decision for me, but the wrong decision for us. I've poured my soul into my music, but I've never forgotten her. Her smell, her smile, and now I'm going back. After 10 years, I hope I can explain that after all this time, I still want her to be my forever girl. Very short and sweet summary. Um, this was the only book that I could find like on my Libby app that was ready to download, so it wasn't really on my radar, but I'm excited nonetheless. The next book and last book on this list is probably one of the most exciting ones for me, and we have Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. <laughs> I cannot wait to read this book because it looks so flippin' cute! This is going to be completing the challenges for an LGBTQ romance and a romance set in a foreign country. I'm not 100% sure it takes place in a foreign country, but one of our main characters is the Prince of Wales. So there's going to be scenes of him in Wales? I'm pretty sure? If not, I might have to add another book to this TBR later on in the week. Okay, so if you didn't know about this book, we have our two main characters. Alex is the son of the President of the United States, and Henry is the Prince of Wales, I'm pretty sure. And they have some feuding things going on they don't like each other at all and it's like come to the public eye and so their parents their families have made them become fake friends to like make them have good press and not make them all look really bad that they hit like that they hit each other so they have to pretend to be friends and like post all these pictures of them together and like basically tell the media how great of a friend this person is when they actually don't like each other but then they might actually start of falling for each other. That sounds super duper duper cute. So I am so excited for this one. I'm so excited for this one. And there y'all have it. That was my Smetathon TBR. I cannot wait for this readathon. I am so excited. I love romance books so much so I cannot wait to dive in. Leave a comment down below in case I need another takes place in a foreign country book. Can you leave one down in the comments if you know one? And also let me know down below what books you plan to read for this month-a-thon or your most anticipated read for this month-a-thon. Um, I would love to know. And if you have also posted a TBR video for this month-a-thon, be sure to tell me because I would love, love, love to watch them. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye! Thank you.